They helped bring pop music to the masses. Offshore stations like Radio Caroline and Radio London were phenomenally popular in the 1960s. The music they played just wasn't available elsewhere, and by mooring off the coast, they could evade broadcasting authorities. Loved by listeners, loathed by the government. The pirates are a menace, and I don't believe at all that uh, the public wouldn't support action to enforce the law. Forty years after the Marine Offences Act eventually switched off the station's transmitters, some of the big names of that era are reuniting once more. To, just to, to pay homage and pay respect to those times, really. And I think for the people who were there listening, to be able to listen to it again, uh, they, will, they will love, and they'll certainly love all the music. And maybe younger people who've heard some vague thing about a pirate station on a ship will listen to it and think, wow, yeah, I like that, that's good. Yes, we're going to put the... the pirate stations transformed the radio industry. When Radio Caroline was switched off in 1967, many of its DJs went on to broadcast legally on the BBC's new pop music service. And good morning, everyone. Welcome to the exciting new sound of Radio One. Canadian DJ Gordy Cruz broadcast on Radio Caroline in 1966. It was a fun time, as back then DJs were like rock stars. The fan mail, phenomenal, just phenomenal. Uh, you'd come ashore after your two-week stint for a week off, and there'd be a crowd of <clears throat> young ladies waiting to see the DJs. It was incredible. I met a lot of really nice people. Well, just as they did back in the 60s, the DJs are going to be hot bedding, sleeping in rotation according to their presenting shift. Ah, the good old days. How quaint. Of course, technology has moved on a bit since the pirates' heyday. This offshore broadcast will be available online to listeners across the world. Well, during the heyday of pirate radio, they used to have what were known as flashing sessions, whereby the listeners would park their cars on the shore and flash their headlights in order to show their support to the DJs on board the boat. And they're going to hopefully have another one over the next few days. The lineup is pretty impressive. Ed Stupot, Stewart, Emperor Roscoe, Johnny Walker, as we've heard. If you want to listen, the best place to do that is on the BBC Essex website, bbc.co.uk slash Essex. Available this time around, the whole world over. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Yeah, we've got one of them. We've got a hero. We've got one live. Yep. A legend. Have yeah, mercy, my man. Have mercy. <laughs> Can you D-I-G-I-T as you rave to the grave with your musical slave? Just Can I say I'm on my knees to please? <laughs> and in front of such a gorgeous <laughs> lady, what Sit. more could I do? Sit. Oh, all right. I'm on my good behaviour. Just in case you don't recognise the voice, you won't recognise the, the, the face anymore because it's been a year or two. He's Emperor Roscoe and he was there in the early days of Radio Caroline and he's back from, from L.A. especially to take part in this. And of course, oh. I remember you from Radio 1 when it This is the big 4-0. Yes. You know, and I'm here to, to party, have a great time, uh, go to Harridge, we're going to uh, Boogie tonight, uh, we're at the pier, we're do, working for charity. So Johnny Walker's joining me, Dave Cash, we're all going to be down there doing the do and playing the classic music and having a great time. Doing the do. Look at those fans. Is that, is that, is that you in there? Is that That's a DVD I put together. <laughs> is that you? That's you going into broadcasting. You see, in the old Look days, the I shouldn't say the old days, in, yeah. in the days when Radio 1 first started, disc jockeys were, had a lot more power because they were, you didn't have all the commercial stations. So. Is that you there with no Am shirt I supposed on? to look at... I can't look at me. If I look at me, I'll get all ill. I brought you a gift here that I wanted to make Did sure you? you have, all right. okay. which is called Turn on the Pirates, Turn which on has the just pirates. come on. Okay. And uh, you guys can fight for it. But, oh, it's your, you know, it's, it's, this is the single you made with, uh, with, with Dave, uh, Cash, Dave yeah. Cash. Yeah, and it's, yes. it's number one next week on uh, The Big L, which <laughs> right. is uh, a beginning. And uh, What are your favourite memories of, of the ship, of broadcasting well, the sea? This is what we're going to find out. But my personal well, can you remember that poker back? games, taking money off Dave Lee Travis, yes. uh, out fishing uh, Michael Ahern, um, and, of course, the week off when you really had to plow a lot of living after being two weeks on board a ship with the, the Dutch cooks, being someone who likes good food, I'm the first one ashore and head for London and head, you know, head for the good notch. <laughs> on yeah, your you know, bike, so. and we have to show pictures, because I know you don't want to see this. We love this we picture love this. of you. We Look love at that. those glasses. Oh, you have to see that. God. The, the hanging bars. I'm not even going to fool the listeners and tell you I didn't know this was coming, but that...